Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another makeup tutorial. This one is a get ready with me talk through style of video. I didn't want to do a voiceover, so I just decided to sit down and film myself doing my makeup. Didn't have a plan with this one. I recently was sent a few products from the Balm. Um, so I just figured I would sit down and use them in a video for you guys because I wanted to try them out um, and just see how I liked them. So I literally just winged this eye look. This is just what I came up with on the fly. If you guys want to see how I achieved this makeup look, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so first I'm just starting off with my Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I never know what to call this. Like, I don't know what the RX is doing on the end there. But I've really been liking using this primer lately just because it's super hydrating and I have really dehydrated skin just because, like, I fake tan my face and that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to spread this around and rub it into my skin. I just did my fake tan this morning, so... I'm not sure how I'm going to go matching my foundation to my body, but we'll just see how it turns out. It probably won't be like an exact match, but we should be able to get close enough. For foundation, I'm just using my NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Punjab. I love this so, so much. I'm just going to shake it up because it has been sitting in my drawer for a little while. And this one doesn't come with a pump, which makes me super sad, but... I usually just get it and I tip it onto like a flat surface. So I'm just going to take a little bit and just dot it around my face. I have so many breakouts at the moment, I don't even know what's going on. I have a Sephora event next week and I'm just like wanting them to go away in time so I don't look like a leper. So I'm just tapping this into my skin using my beauty blender. I probably actually have breakouts because my beauty blender is really old now and it's probably got a lot of bacteria in there. Now as you guys can see, it doesn't match my body at the moment. The thing about like my fake tan is it looks really like brown and red on my skin when I apply it. But then once I wash off the guide color, I kind of go like more orangey. It's just how my skin goes with fake tan. It doesn't matter what tan I use. My skin just pulls a little bit more yellow. So that's why my foundation is so yellow in comparison to the rest of me. It is going to match. I'm just going to bronze it up to make sure that it matches properly. And I'll drag a little bit down my neck as well to make sure I don't have like a floating head. But yeah, I just wanted to clear that up for you guys because I know... You guys are gonna be like, why are you using a fucking yellow foundation? I swear it matches me perfectly when my fake tan has settled, but I literally just put it on like a couple hours ago, so it hasn't fully developed just yet. So now I'm just going to go in and warm up my face. I just want to do a little bit of cream contouring because I love it. And I'm just going to be using my NYX Mineral Foundation Stick in the shade number 9. I love this so much. So I'm literally just going to draw it onto my face just in the areas that I want to warm up. And I want to warm up a little bit. Obviously, it's not going to match my neck. But the thing is, my tan gets really dark by the end of the day. So I know that I have to, like, kind of overcompensate right now for it to, like, match later on. And I'm not really going anywhere today. So I can kind of get away with having, like, a slightly darker face. So now I'm just blending this out using my Sigma Cream F05. They have a powder one and a cream one. And I love these brushes so much. You guys know I always use the black one, which is the powder one, to do my contouring. I use that for cream and powder. But now that I have the cream one, this is what I use. They're basically the same thing. You guys know that I do have a Sigma code. It's just Casey Rayton and that will get you guys 10% off your order. So definitely use that if you are going to purchase anything from Sigma because those are my favorite brushes. Also, I do want to apologize to you guys if there's heaps of noise in the background of this video, just like heaps of car noises. Where I live is like there's a busy street adjacent to the street that I live on and oh my god, it's just so noisy. So I'm only dragging this the tiniest bit down my neck because I don't really want to like move my tan around. I'm just going to go in with like a powder bronzer later on and bring that down my neck so everything matches. But for now we're just keeping this on the face mainly. And then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and clean up underneath the contour. Oops, I forgot <laughs> I did this. I like putting it under my chin because it makes my lips look a little bit more pouty. Under my chin, under my lip. But I always forget to blend it out and I end up with like a full on goatee. Like it's, it's disgusting. Now I'm going to apply some concealer because your girl needs it. Today I am using the Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. When I got these I hated them so much. Like I just, I was like this concealer is terrible, it doesn't cover anything, it's like too hydrating. There was a lot of reasons why I didn't like it and now I am like so on board. I love it so much. You guys know that I really love my um, what's it called? The Urban Decay 
concealer. Which one is it? The Naked Skin Concealer? I'm having a total brain fart right now. But after using this and going back to that, it's like... I don't know, the consistency is so weird and like I just can't use it right now. This one is in the shade Light. I just really, really like it. I've only been taking my concealer underneath my eyes recently. So I don't know, I don't feel like the rest of my face really needs it. I've been trying to go a little bit lighter with the coverage. And I like to just blend it out with my Beauty Blender because it's just so like seamless and airbrushed. I mean, look at that coverage. I don't know how I thought it didn't have coverage before, but so nice and like it's just so hydrating now i'm just going to bake underneath my eyes using my laura mercier secret brightening powder as well as the translucent powder i'm just going to mix these two together in one of the lids and then just bake them straight underneath my eyes i don't usually bake if i do i just use this one um and it's not really baking it's more just setting it with the beauty blender but i'm going to actually bake today because i'm going to after i bake i'm going to go straight on to do my eyes which i don't normally do but i just wanted to get my foundation down first so I could do my like lids as well as my lower lash line all in one go because I don't know I kind of hate having to like I'll be like nearly finished a makeup look and then I realize I haven't done my lower lash line and it makes me lazy and not want to like do anything crazy on the bottom so I just kind of put them both into the lid and just shook them around a bit and I'm literally just going to take that same beauty blender dip it right in and bake it on my face. So I've got that sitting underneath my eyes. Whatever's left over in the cap, because there is a little bit, I'm just gonna take ever so lightly underneath my contour just to clean everything up a little bit. All right, so I've left this sitting here for about like two or three minutes now. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush. Doesn't matter what you use. I'm just using my tapered highlighter F35 brush from Sigma because it's just what I'm going to use later on. So I just grabbed whatever was laying around. I'm just going to dust off the bake underneath my contour. And I lightly kind of baked around my mouth and chin, smile line sort of area because I tend to get a bit oily around here. And I do get smile lines sometimes because I'm just so happy. But I am going to leave this here for the most part because when I'm going on to do my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using some darker colours. And if I have any fallout, I can just wipe it away and it'll be super easy. So I'm just going to get rid of the bake on my nose. Okay, as you guys can see, I have a bit of creasing on my eyelid. So I'm just going to go ahead and pat that away with my finger. Basically, I'm just going to be going in with my MAC soft ochre paint pot and I'm just going to be taking this on my finger so I just scrape it out with my fingernail pop it on my lid and pat it in so going in with the meat matrimony palette from the balm I'm just taking the shade matte lin and I'm using this to set my entire eyelid I'm just taking it on my sigma tapered blending e35 brush it's just a fluffy little brush doesn't really matter what you use because we're just using this to lightly set the paint pot and it'll make it just a little bit easier to blend out any other eyeshadows we go in with so I saw Jaclyn Hill do this she like leaves her bake on underneath her eyes and does like a clean line and it helps her get like a sharp line to her eye makeup I don't really know I'm just trying it out to see what happens basically so then taking the shade matte Evans I'm going to buff this lightly into my crease on my Sigma tapered blending e40 brush just to get like a little bit of shape happening up in this biatch and I'm also taking it on the outer corner of the eye and I'm just kind of going back and forth like this and then I'll connect it up into the crease area. Then taking a smaller brush, I'm using the Airbrush Blender from Sigma. This is the F63 brush. I'm just going to be taking the shade Matte Lopez. So I'm just placing it in the crease in windshield wiper motions. Dipping back into it a little bit. And I'm just going to do a little V on the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm just switching back to that Sigma E40 brush. And I'm just going to make sure everything is really nicely blended. And then I'm just going to repeat that process until I'm happy with the depth of colour that I've built up. So now on my Sigma Blending E36 brush, this one is just a really fine tapered blending brush. I'm going to be taking the shade Matte Kuma. And I'm going to be blending this. Sorry guys, the cars are so loud. I'm going to be blending this into the outer corner of my eye. So into the outer crease. And I'm just going back and forth in windshield wiper motions again. And I'm going to be taking some into the outer V as well. So I'm just lightly placing that in there with that tiny brush. And then I'm going back in with my Sigma F63, the one that I was using before. 
and I'm just going to use this to blend it out. And then going back in with that E36, I'm just going to be doing the same thing again until I build up the desired amount of colour payoff. So I do want this to be pretty pigmented, so I'm going to go back in probably like four or five times, just using like the same method. And then just going back in with my E40 every now and then just to run over it and make sure there's not really any harsh lines. Then on my Sigma Shader Crease E47 brush, it's just a fluffy little tapered sort of brush. I'm going to take the shade Matte Read and I'm going to blend this into the same sort of areas but I'm going to keep it a little bit more tighter to the outer V of the eye. Taking the flat side of the brush, I'm just going to lay some down into the outer V of the eye. Then going back in with that Sigma E36 that we were using before, I'm just going to be using this to blend out that colour. And taking a bit more of that, I think I'm going to start bringing that onto the eyelid actually. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I just think it'll look cool. Then just taking that same brush, I'm going to go back in with that matte Kuma shade. And I'm just going to place a little bit of this more to like towards the centre of the eye. So now taking a teeny tiny brush, this is the Detailed Lip L04 brush. It's just like, it looks like a little pencil brush, so that's what I'm going to use it for. It's just really tiny, as you guys can see. And I'm just going to take the shade Matte Armoured, I think is how you pronounce it. It's just a black eyeshadow, and I'm just going to dip my little brush in there. I'm just going to place this on the outer V of the eye, so literally exactly where I want it and nowhere else. And I'm going to take the Shader Crease E47 brush that I was using before and I'm just going to use this to blend out that black. So once I kind of blend out the general shape of what I want, I'm going to go back in with that E36 brush and I'm just going to make sure the top section is really blended. So now that I've pretty much finished the lid, there's still a couple of things that I want to do to the inner corner sort of area. But we're going to move on and do the lower lash line. So I'm just going to take that same brush I used earlier and dust away all that baking. Now I'm going to go in and do the lower lash line. Pretty much just going to use a mix of all those shades that I used on my lids because um, I'm a basic bitch when it comes to doing my eyeshadow. First off, going in with the F63 Airbrush Blender. Again, taking that Matte Evans shade, and I am just blending this underneath the entirety of my lower lash line. Then going back in with the Matte Lopez shade, and I'm just going to blend this pretty much along the whole lower lash line as well. I'm just going to kind of mesh those two shades together. Then taking these two shades that we used earlier, I'm going back in with my Sigma E36 brush. I'm just going to mix those shades a little bit and start blending them on the outer corner of the eye. And I'm just going to start meshing it into the top lot of eyeshadow as well. So now I'm going in with the same concealer I used underneath my eyes. What I'm going to do is just apply a little bit to the in a corner of my eye and just sort of blend it outwards just to give it a really cool cut crease kind of effect. And I'm using my Sigma Inner Corner E46 brush. This one is just like a little flat concealer type of brush. Now just going in with the shade Matte Lin, I'm going to place this over where I just put the concealer just to make sure everything is set down really nicely. I'm just using the same brush. You can just, you can probably use a better brush than this, but I'm lazy, I can't be able to go get another one. So I'm just using this one. Then taking the shade Matte Rossi, I'm going to use my Sigma Tapered Blending E45 brush. It's just a tapered fluffy brush. You guys can use any kind of brush that you can pack on eyeshadow with. I'm just going to use that shade to start blending the concealer and the eyeshadow together ever so slightly. So I'm literally just patting this onto where they kind of connect. Then going back in with my Sigma E47, I'm taking that cranberry shade we used earlier just to apply a little bit more of this onto the outer corner as well because I kind of lost a bit of this when I was applying the concealer. And then back in with that matte Rossi shade, it's kind of like a taupey plum. And I'm using that to just blend them a little bit more seamlessly. 
So while I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry, I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara. I'm just trying out the Mad Lash Mascara from The Balm. It looks like this. I have never used this before. The mascara is very wet. Like it's good, but I just prefer like a really dry consistency for mascara. Other than that, it seems okay. It seems like it really lengthens them, which is crazy. I'm gonna do my other eye now because the lashes on this eye are all janky. That's insane. I actually really like that mascara. Um, I don't think it's waterproof, so my lashes are going to drop down at like crazy town. But I'm just going to do the top lashes, let them dry, and then I'll do the bottom ones after I apply my falsies. Um, just because I'll make such a mess if I try and do it right now. So the lashes that I use are the new Bouncem Bombay lashes. I love these so much. They're my absolute favourites. Um, you guys know I pretty much don't use any other lashes other than New Bouncem. And I do have a discount code for you guys. It's just Casey Rayton and you can get 20% off any... I'm pretty sure it's 20% off or 25 I think it's 20% off. I'll leave it listed down below for you guys as well as on the screen, but that will get you some dollars off your order for any eyelashes that you purchase. And now I'm going to try out the Bahama Mama Bronzer. So I've actually never tried anything from the Balm. I should let you guys know that, which is crazy. But I've seen so many people use this bronzer and I've always wanted to try it out. So we're going to use it now. I'm just going to use my Sigma Powder Blush F10 brush. I've been loving this for um, just adding a little bit of bronze to the face. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of this bronzer down my neck. Just because my tan is still developing, so you can still see a bit of my pale skin shining through. So if I take this bronzer down, it kind of fills in those gaps. So that blends in a lot better. I actually like that bronzer. It's a really, really nice color. I just have to keep trying it out. So they sent over a couple of blushes as well. We have the Frat Boy blush and the Balm Beach. So I'm going to take these out and see what the colors are like because I like really peachy blushes. I think I might use this one. Well, actually, I'll just do a mix of both. Why not? I'm going to use my Large Angled Contour F40. You guys know I love this for blush. Look at it. It's dirty. Carbon blush. So I'm going to use the Balm Beach blush first. I like to put a lot of blush on like the apples of my cheeks because I feel like that's where I naturally get flushed. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at it. It just like shapes the apple of your cheek. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to use the other one today because otherwise I'll end up with a clown face. So the Balm also sent over their little Men Menizer sisters. I keep saying Menu, Menu Menizer. <laughs> I was like trying to say that a thousand times. Oh my god. Um, this is the little Maniza sis Maniza. Oh my god, I can't even get over that. The little Men Men Menizer. See, I'm doing it again. Um, this is their little Luminizers trio. Never tried it, and everyone says it's so great. So I really want to try that out. But I'm actually going to take a little bit of Betty Lou, and I'm going to. Sorry, my. Mirror. It's getting all weird. I'm going to apply this um, to like the high points of my face just as like a bit of a glow. So I'm taking that on my powder blush F10 brush. This is the one I used earlier. Just dipping it in there lightly and then like tapping off like all that excess, you know, because I don't want to get a whole heap. And I'm just going to like lightly bronze my face with it. I mean, I know I already did bronze up, but like you can never have too much bronzer. So I'm taking my Tapered Highlighter F35 brush and I am just dipping it into Mary Lou, tapping off the excess. Look at that bitch. Look at that bitch all up in here. Thinking she could run this joint. From the tip of the nose. And down the center of the nose. And down on my top lip. No, my little chinny chin. And then over my whole entire face. They sent over a couple of their Read My Lips liquid lipsticks. I think these are liquid lipsticks or glosses. I'm not too sure. And some of their pickup liners. Oh, that's really cute. That's such a little, little pun. I love it. Little stuff's looking really punny. So first I am going in with the pickup liners lip liner in the shade Fine Apple. That's really cute. And... 
I'm just lining my lips. I'm just filling my lips in with this as well. This is actually such a pretty gloss. It smells really good. Um, this one's in the shade Grrr. That completes this look, you guys. That is it for the tutorial. Um, I'm super sore about all the cars driving past, making lots of noise. But there's not really much I can do. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next one. So foundation. <laughs> Nas old what? Ooh, I just got foundation on that. So now I'm just gonna go white. What was that? Naked ladies matte. The little men manure, 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 man